when I do stuff like this, uh, I just, I didn't even, when I started talking, cutting the camera on, I didn't know where it was going. Yeah. But God and the universe has showed me that we're doing the right thing. You Absolutely. Know, doing the right thing. You, you started with the right intentions and the right energy. So it's, the universe is going to put that in place for you always. It's weird you say that because I know a lot of people reach out. They want to do a YouTube channel. They're trying to get paid. I'm like, you got yeah. the wrong mindset, dude. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I tell people about me and my partner. That's a doctor. We don't covet money. We don't covet <laughs> money. So, don't even think about right, it. Right, right. It's about if we can uh, provide a service and help others, then the side effect of that will be beneficial things for us and everyone else. That's it's so weird you say that. Earl Nightingale says, money is an effect of a cause. You know, so if you ain't got no damn cause. Right. Don't think you could. <laughs> right. Yeah. One of my friends, man, he said, uh, he put this post up. He said, uh, he said, you're you're so poor. All you have is money. Oh, said, wow. Yeah, that's deep. Which is the easiest thing to get. You know, yeah. Eric Thomas says that. Yeah. That's why you I tell get money. Yeah. It comes it's and goes. attainable. It comes and goes, man. Try to get some friends that got you. Try to get a family that, you know, I mean, yes. we could go on and on. Yep. Yep. Somebody that truly loves you and cheers for you and, and you know, wow. wants you to do great. That now Try that, to get that. Yeah. Now that, that's why I say, Chris, I, I am wealthy. I am wealthy. I have a beautiful family, there a family that loves me. You know, I healthy. have a love. healthy yes, my health. I have a roof over my head. I don't have to worry about bills and cars that are reliable, man. I'm wealthy. You got a lot, though. Yeah, man, I'm good. Like the money part, you know, that'll come. I'm not. That's a side that of cool. Roundup greetings, class. So we got 35 people. <clears throat> hey, greetings. Hey, come on in. Come on, Zen. Uh, I am Chris Haskins. I'm going to be your host, your pilot for this evening to take you on this 40,000 mile cruise that we're going on in the spaceship, the Roundup airline. Hanging out with my friend Gene Boykin. What up, Gene? Yo, what's up, man? All it's the way from honor. Iowa. That's why I can't believe. So I'm like, I love when people come from different places. I'm like, can you do it here? Nah, you can't. You can't do it in Iowa. Uh -uh. <laughs> hey, wait till you hear about how I made sure that I could do it. That that was artful. <laughs> how many emails do I get, Chris? You can't do that here. You can't do that here. Not true. I'm like. Okay, you know what? Anyway, Roundup, my mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. And doing that, I just try to bring you the most up-to-date information, uh, different people that are doing this, doing, doing this business, uh, studying, being, having an impact on their communities, as well as giving, giving. So tonight, Gene, he sent me an email the other day, said he closed his first uh, subject to deal. So I wanted to get him on here immediately to share with you. It can be done. I don't care. We're not, we're gonna, matter of fact, don't even take it from me. We're going to let Gene go to the story. <laughs> Gene, background. Tell me where you are, who you are. Say what? How do you pronounce where you're from? Uh, it's Sioux. Sioux City, Iowa. Good little, God little, Almighty. Yeah, What's school. going on in Iowa? Oh, man. It's a little spot on the map, but I'll tell you what, though. There's some, uh, there's some real, real go-getters out here now from Sioux okay. City. People okay. that left their mark, man. So, you know, there's some of that everywhere, though. Sioux City, Iowa. I'm trying so, to just figure out why. It's, would right, I... it's right over by Omaha. It's on the uh, I, it's Iowa, Nebraska, uh, gotcha. state line on the Missouri River. That's cool, man. Yeah. What were you born and raised there? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I was born born in Sioux City, Iowa. Raised here. I've been, you know, I've been lived in a few different places, but always come back to Sioux City. But uh, now that I got this knowledge, man, that you put out in the universe for free, <laughs> which is crazy to me, million dollar knowledge for free, uh, man, the sky's the limit, man. You know, sky's the limit, man. <laughs> Roundup, he was telling me a little bit about his story, and I love it when people think that they are going to go to the banks and the mortgage companies and build a real estate empire. And then they're like, then they get realization. So, <laughs> yeah, not going to happen. It's not going to happen, man. My, my business partner, is a, a, a doctor, um, a physician, man, <laughs> and he's high up too, you know, in the administration. And um, the banks didn't want to extend him uh, credit, so uh, you got plenty of capital. 
Yeah. And, and the ability to earn money, you know, over a long period of time, a lot of money, you know, so I was I was just I was caught off guard. But, you know, I, I don't take obstacles. I don't believe in obstacles. You know, it's just I'm doing I've got to do something different. There's a, there is a way there is always a way. So, um, yeah, I like, that. I like that. All right. So round up. If you want to join that channel, I make sure I put this out. Gene is actually one of our members. Thank you for supporting, brother. Uh, there's a button right below and there's going to be some links in the video description. I'm going to give you some goodies tonight like I usually do. For, thank you for supporting. If you want your questions answered first, we give our, our busy professionals and entrepreneurs an opportunity to answer questions first. There's a join button right there. It's just going to cost you nothing but a price of Starbucks coffee uh, once a month. Thank you for supporting the channel. Yeah. Gene. How do we get here with this crazy thing? You mean you can buy a house without uh, tax returns and mortgage state uh, bank statements, credit report, all that mess? How do we get here? Man, you don't need you don't need any of that. You don't need any of that. Real quick, though, all my Sioux City people, if you watch it, go ahead and give a love offering and ask some questions because uh, I'm going to I'm going to answer the questions, man. And I've got the paper, the contracts and whatnot, too. So, you know, okay. we're right here. But uh, uh, we got I got started on this. Uh, I had planned on being a real estate investor with my partner uh, for a long time. He was going to finance it. I was going to manage. But uh, the banks would not give him any money. Time frame. Give me. Was this last year you were thinking about this two years ago? Tim? Yeah, I've actually um, uh, started uh, about a year and a half ago. I helped a lady a year and a half ago, man. If I would have known about subject two, I'd have a duplex. I don't a duplex right now, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I, but it's okay because I helped her, right? She she was in pre foreclosure, and um, she was one of the three people that you described. You know, the ones that just are going to ride it out, need more time, or want okay. to, want to see what they can get and go. But she needed more time, so I asked her what she had done. And um, she told me and I was like, oh, well, you can still get a delay of sale. All you've got to do is call down to the um, the clerk of court's office and tell them this, this and this. And you're good to go, you know. And so she did that. And um, yeah, she ended up getting three more months. And uh, okay. I just reached out to her uh, a couple of weeks ago, man, because um, I needed somebody to say what I had done for them, you know, because there's testimonial. Some, yeah, testimonial. Right. And uh, lo and behold, she's still in that house. Wow, house, man. Yeah. So. You know, I, I helped her, man, and the universe brings good things back for that. So, um, yeah, yeah. So that's, I mean, we had been, you know, started because I'm the type of person where I'm like uh, um, ready, shoot, aim, you know, like, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's not okay. ready, aim, fire. I is ready, fire, aim. Ready, fire. That's yeah. how it is. That's how yeah. entrepreneurs are. Yeah. If you're going to, I mean, if you're going to make something happen, you know, you can't, if you're always waiting for something, waiting for this, I got to wait for the money. I got to wait for the market to be a buyer's market. I got to, you know, wait on this, wait on that, man. No, no, I go get it. it. Yeah. Go get it, man. Go get it. And, Gee, and if I could tell you how many, if I could tell you, if I had 25 cents for every time I hear people say, if I only had the money, yeah. if I only, I'm like, this is what you just said. Ready? Fire. Yeah. Fire. And then aim the money will come. It'll get there. Just like how I found you, man. Um, I my my friend, my business partner, um, we couldn't get the money uh borrowed from uh, financial institutions. And he's got, you know, he lives in a pricey house. Anyway, um, he says to me, well, why I can just why can't I just take somebody's mortgage over? I can afford to pay somebody's mortgage every month. And I say, All these books I've read on real estate, you know, the superficial, conventional way of doing it. I said, You can't do that. But wow. I was like, yeah, that's what I said to him. And I've read all these books. He hasn't read any real estate books, but he said that he that came to his that's mind. Crazy. Yeah. And that's that was the seed for this moment. Teamwork. Right? Teamwork. Yeah, absolutely, man. When it's somebody like you said, you know, people that, you know, are actually on your team man, and that love you, you know. So he said that and I just started researching it. And um, I found the assumption, you know, assuming a loan, which is the same thing. You got to qualify for credit and all that Tell stuff. Tell me about that road when you start, when you, so <laughs> you went from apply for a loan, then to try to assume a loan. Tell me about just the, how that kind of unfolded for you. Well, we didn't, we didn't apply for the assumption because, it, you know, when I researched it, it was pretty much the same thing. You know, that. you got to apply, you've got to uh, follow all these regulations and rules and time frames, And, you you know, you got to live in the house for this long and like yada, 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 all this stuff, all this stuff that you really don't have to do. Um, but the banks put these regulations on you. But right now, Chris, uh, 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 thanks to that knowledge you put in the universe, I'm the bank. So I Be make up bank. my own regulations. Yeah, I'm the bank. Be so. The bank. Um, um, so I was researching it and I came upon the subject to video and, uh, I found, I found your video, man. And I just, I dug, I dove in because of what you said, 
like, you know, there's the conventional side, but I'm going to take you to the other side, the non-conventional, the world. This is the world you live in, the non-conventional. There are no credit checks. Um, there are no applications. There are no um, inspections and the appraisals, um, you know, contingencies, realtor fees. There, there are none of these things. And I was just like, what? No way. Like, I've got to look into crazy, this. Thing. Yeah. You're talking a, crazy. But I like You're crazy. Talking. He sounds crazy. Yeah, but people say I'm crazy all the time. So I'm like, well, hell, this, I'm, oh, excuse me. This might be a match made I'm in heaven, my right? Lane. This is my <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Who is this yeah, fool I'm, talking I'm you don't need it? I love it, man. And around, hold on, let me reintroduce you. People do get 60 people on here. Are you glitching on your side? I'm saying glitching for the roundup. How's it I'm looking? Like? Yeah, I see you, you glitching a little bit on your side. Is we go, okay, down. hold on. Let me let me do this. Let me plug this thing. What do you think, <laughs> man? Hold tight, roundup. Well, hey, all my Sioux City people, appreciate y'all support. And you're gonna get some good knowledge. I'll tell y'all this too. Um, uh, after we do this video, and if you hear you know some things that you like, uh, I may be uh doing some coaching sessions, and uh I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an accountant, I'm not any of those things. So these this is informational purposes only. Informational purposes only. Um, however, uh, there's a lot of contracts uh involved in the system, things like but uh as as my mentor would say it's simple but it's not easy it's simple funny. but it's not easy gene yeah you good let me see how am i looking Still, to you you're Licky slowing off. down yes right, it's slow speed i'm gonna cut this internet off here disconnect I ain't even gonna lie. That's one of the things that drew me to you. I was like, man, this dude's organic. You know what I mean? He's just, it's organic, man. This isn't, it's authentic. Can't this buy is real this life, man. <laughs> yeah. You, uh, you, it really, you can't buy authenticity, man. Mm -mm. You got to value it. Though, it. All right, let's see. Round up. All right, we're clean. No more, no more messiness. All right, cool. So you found out, you saw the video. So you, your brain is opened up. That's what I want to hear about. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, man. Um, you know, luckily I had already known a lot about the conventional side of uh, real estate, so I knew some terms and things like that. But when, uh, when, when I saw your subject two video, the first one, I watched it. And I'm like, oh my god, you know, this is this is perfect. That's what I, I think I commented. Like people were asking you for discounts and stuff. I was like, wow, how could you even ask for a discount on any of this? Like it's 200 it's, bucks, man. Yeah, it's million dollar knowledge. Like, this is priceless information, you know? So, yeah. Matt, oh, are so you still you, in slow mo a little bit? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, were you oh, real clean on my side? Okay, cool. So um, I'm looking at you on Facebook. It's clean. Let me ask you, uh -huh. you want to plug, you want a phone or laptop? No, I'm on a laptop. Yeah, as long as the I'm, as long as it's clean for the viewers, I'm cool. Well, I'm I'm saying I'm if you I'm on Facebook now, right? I'm looking at it. Uh, unfortunately, I think it might be on your side. I'm super clean on Facebook, but I'm seeing a little choppy on you okay, on Facebook. Okay, I'm on the now. YouTube side. How's it I'm look on, on YouTube? I'm on YouTube, but I don't know. It looks it looks good on my end, but yours looks bad. So both are, okay. So damn. Should, should I go on Facebook? How's it look? Can somebody tell us it's a little bad? I know everybody's clean and smooth. Oh, okay, bad. We good. All right, long as good. Man, go. yeah. we here for the people, you know. Right. And I'm here to, I mean, I'm here to converse with a righteous person, man. A righteous, righteous people are hard individuals to come by. So I'll spend my time doing this. And the people get information, knowledge from it. So be it, man. Be quiet. Put it be out quiet. there in the universe. They don't speak yeah, up a that's lot. That's cool. YouTubers. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm on the iPhone. So, uh, Audio clear, video choppy. Yeah, what is going on? Hold on, y'all. The the the, the that, enemy, man. The enemy. I'm gonna grab some water real quick. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what the hell is going on. Connect. Oh, I do have it on hardwire. Delayed on YouTube. <clears throat> Gene is choppy. Chris, my YouTube. Chris is good. Gene is choppy. All right. Choppy Gene's side. Am I clean? Gene, they're saying your side is choppy a little bit. You want to uh 
I got four people. Gene is lagging. Oh no! Okay. Side. okay. I'm, I'm on YouTube. You said you're on Facebook. When you I'm on both in? of them. Oh, you're on both of them. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying I'm uh, on Facebook or YouTube. I'm on Facebook. Clean, clean, clean. Videos top. Can, let me ask you. Can you uh go hard line in your computer or no? This thing uses oh, a no, lot of bandwidth. You good? No, Let's just keep rolling, man. We'll roll with it. Okay, okay. I was about to say, right. you know, I'm a, I'm a dinosaur on the technology. Yeah, me too, man. My wife is a geek, <laughs> so I get to deal with that. <laughs> oh, you All right, it. so you got uh, so you got you understood it. Boom, you grasped the concept. Let's go. Yeah, I grasp I grasped the concept, right? The general concept, but that's the that's I mean, when you think about it, you know, like just envision a tree, right? A tree starts out with a small seed. Right. Mm -hmm. You can't you don't know that a tree is going to blossom into this big, beautiful oh, thing that wow. creates life and just, you know, gives. So that's the concept is it's the same thing. It's the same analogy of I grasp the concept, but I had no idea of the depth of the matter and how, you know, yeah, Move I know I can take these loans, but how do I then make money? So, you know, oh, wow. we uh, I've got the whole thing now, though. I mean, I you know, I put them in trust. Um what? But once I you been listening oh, to some madman. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I, I can't do it halfway. I, I got to go all the way and do it right. You've been listening to a madman, G. What's wrong with you? Hey, check out how Buy I found houses. out. Huh? For nothing, I didn't spend any money on this house. <laughs> you buy houses without using your credit. You buy it not putting them in your name, Gene. I think you might you might be a loony. <laughs> Hey, so was uh, so was Einstein, so was uh, man, all types of all types of people wow. that uh, are remembered. Chris, oh, you too, God. man. You know? Yeah, but you crazy, out, you know. One of the, one of the things you would say, and a lot of the roundup people would say, I can't find a lawyer. I can't find a title company, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what I did. You got to be you got to be a tactician as well. So. I had I had been researching real estate anyway, and I was all looking on public records and I would see a company come up all a lot. And I'm not I won't say their name here, but I would see them come uh, up in the public records. Well, I about saw on, that we buy transactions, a lot of transactions Yes, on transactions. Yep. On transactions. What's that? Hmm? Oh, you cut out. You cut out on me. I'm let sorry, y'all. We'll get him back. Now let me see something. Um. Oh, there you go. You so uh, open in there. Go ahead. I would see. The... No, everything's uh. Okay, you see oh, the wait, transactions, and then what? Thumbnail open. The enemy. Yeah, I see the transactions, and I see this company. So then I'm driving one day. I'm driving in my neighborhood one day, and I see the We Buy Houses um van. Right. And I used to think the people with the uh, with the we buy houses, I was like, wow, these guys must have been great real estate investors and just built up money over time and could just buy a bunch of houses because they had so much money. This is what I thought. Right. Until you had gave me that. So we actually bought our house a couple years ago with the mortgage, unfortunately. So, that's cool. um, yeah, what, but that's cool. We're good now. I mean, we're fine now. I'm not even tripping about that <laughs> at all. It's a good thing. Actually, it's an investment because we're going to lease option this house out. And it's an investment, bro. You know, yeah, no I mean, why am I missing Gene? Roundup, can y'all please find out why the enemy is trying to take Gene out on this daggone live broadcast? Seems like whenever I want to get a message out to help the people, the enemy just. Lord help us all, man. The enemy is always looking right here. The enemy is lurking. He's lurking around. The enemy is here. Uh, they don't want me to. Can you see me? I see you now. Yeah, you oh, got okay. some people. Somebody okay. trying to somebody trying to keep this message. I'm gonna be quiet. Listen, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Now I got my laptops cheap because I was starting. You know what I mean? I ain't have much money. But I will soon. But you know, but we helping people too, man. We, I got a whole program that's about to help so many people, man. It's gonna be beautiful. So I called the We Buy Houses guy, and I said, I, I, I said I was about to go into foreclosure. I'm not in foreclosure yet, but my finances don't agree with me. So what can we mm -hmm. do though? Because I don't have much equity. 
So how can you make money off of this? Because I don't have any equity. And mm -hmm. he says, uh, he says, well, we can do a subject too. And I'm like, well, what is that? He said that out of his and mouth. Out of his mouth, Chris. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly what he said. I was mouthing it to my uh, fiance when he said it. I was like, he said subject too. I was so happy. Wow. That, that meant that meant that it was being done here and an Validate. attorney was doing it. Yes. And a title company was closing these deals so it can be yeah. done. Say right. that again, Gene. Y'all, please that listen is. to what he's saying. All y'all looking for attorneys and somebody. Say that again. Give me that scenario again. That's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got to put in work, man, and be be willing to sweat and sacrifice time. I called them, <laughs> gave my address, acted as, as if I was in distress. And I don't have much equity because we just got the house in 19, I think, or 18 and 18. And he said, we can do a subject too. As soon as he said that, I was just like, wow. The lights went on, you know, that meant that someone was doing that here and a title company was closing these deals. So I can do that, too. So so um, what I did, what I did was then I got on the public records and I looked up the transactions for that. Oh, yeah, my homeboy just texted me, he said, man, the game's too hot for the powers that be. They trying to mess yeah. it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So I got on public records and I, I found one of the transactions because now I know what they look like on in black and white. So I called down to the recorder's office and I said, oh, hi. Yeah, I see this transaction for this address. I gave him the address. I said, I'd like to know what title company closed this deal. And uh, she put me on hold and looked it up and uh, she said it was a lawyer. So I said, OK, well, who was that? So she tells me. So I was like, oh, OK, thank you so much. It's public information. Yeah. I mean, everybody has access to it. So yep. um, I called that attorney and I, I, I left him a message one day and um, he didn't call me back, but I didn't leave my last name either. So I called him the next day and I left my last name and um, they know my name because it's a situation with some body cameras here and how I helped our police yep. department get those finally. Um, mm -hmm. So when he, he called me back, I, I said, I said, uh, I noticed this brilliant, uh, beautiful, detail oriented deal that you closed. And I said, it was just, it was exquisite. Um, and I, I, I appreciate the good work that you did. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I appreciate the work that you did and um, I'll be having some transactions that are similar to those soon. So I'll be needing you to close for me. So I didn't ask him. Uh, wow. You know, I didn't ask. Yeah. I told him I'll be needing you to close for me. What and, did he uh, say? He or she? <laughs> It, it, well, yeah, he or she said uh, they he 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 um, he asked me what the address was, and I told him. And uh, he says, "Oh, okay. Well, I don't represent that company." Uh, but th and this was before I told him I need him to close. He he asked me the address, and he says, "Well, I don't represent that company." I said, "Oh, that's perfect because I'll need you to close my deals too." So he kind of accidentally put himself as you know being yeah. able to be my lawyer to close these deals. All you need is a lawyer and a title company. That's mm -hmm. it. So now I've got him and he's one of the best. Um, he's one of the best. That's so amazing. yeah, when that, when that happened, man, uh, I, I, I just knew it was on from there. How did you know to ask a fellow investor that you had a house with no equity? Cause the first thing a real investor that's going to know, boom, that's what we can do. That's what we, that's, we might be able to do it, but how did you put that all, all together, Gene, to say, let me call an investor as opposed to saying, hey, I can't find anybody. Right. Well, I, I didn't it didn't just um turn on like a light in my head. No, I had to put in time and effort in order to gain the knowledge to come up with that. And I watched a lot of your videos. And then uh, I paid some money for some training, which yeah. I gladly did, you know, mm -hmm. um, so then I knew. Uh, that, you know, and then obviously uh, the conventional way of doing things, if you don't have any equity and you're trying to sell your home, you usually have to bring money to the table out of your pocket yeah, to yeah. sell your house because you got a realtor fees, closing yeah. costs. Um, yeah, it's you're done. A lot of people. And you know what, guys, <laughs> I, I can help you. I can help you if you don't have equity and it won't cost you a dime. It won't cost you a thing. I'll help you. We even put you in a credit repair program and we have a moving company that will do all the heavy lifting for you. It's part of the package. Wow. We're here to that help. That is people. so cool.
Yes. So, Gene, we're going to yes. keep your interview going. Round up. Gene just closed his first. This is your first subject, too, correct? This is my first subject, too. Yeah. Gene just closes. We're going to get to the deal, the moving parts of the deal. But if you want to get in touch with them, the best way, what what is it, Facebook or Instagram, Gene? What's the best way to reach you? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can hit me up on Facebook. It's Gene Boykin. Um, Instagram. It's the real GRB. Sweet. And uh, my email. It's G-R-B-O-Y-K-I-N-J-R-0 at gmail I'll, the number zero i'll be off it in now yep yep the number zero at gmail i'll, off, I'll also be offering some um you've got to if you're going to do this your contracts have to be your contracts have to be correct i mean that's your that's that's your uh what do they call Number that part. sword they pulled out of the stone <laughs> most powerful Excalibur. sword in the world Excalibur. Yeah, that's what your contracts are. Right. That's what your paperwork is. Um, and I made I got your paperwork, Chris, and then I did more research and got other paperwork. And then um, I created my own and had an attorney, you know, look it over. And, it, it you know, it was righteous, man. So I've got documents, you know, uh, uh, that I'd be willing to help people out with and uh, also coaching, too. There's artistry to this. You can't just go to a person and say, hey. I, I I can help you all take over your mortgage payments and it remains in your name and on your credit and I'm going to pay it. No, there's an art to this. You can't do that. Yeah. Man, you know, What's this up? internet in Sioux, Sioux City, man, the internet in Sioux City is just terrible. You know, we can roll on through it. So let's get to this deal. Jane, tell us about this deal. Where did it come from? How did you find it? Oh, Who are the sellers? What is the story? So I'm searching. I'm searching because I got this. I've got this strategy now, you know, and the money will come. I, you know, it's That's just it'll appear, you know, you're ready to strike. Napoleon Hill, man. Right. Absolutely. So um, I'm looking everywhere. Well, I get on Zillow and I find a for sale by owner and the house is beautiful. The house is beautiful. I'm like, oh, my God, it's in a neighborhood that they call uh, they call it God's country out here in the neighborhood. Right. It's kind of funny to me, but Must be nice. it's, it's called God's country. So it's OK. It's all right. It's nothing, you know, middle class. And there's, you know, nice houses, too. So anyway, I uh, I got the uh, software that you recommended. So I looked up the address and saw that they just got a mortgage on this house less than a year and a half ago. So which um, just from a roundup, you got Chris property data. Y'all, you get your own free trial for prop stream if you want to look that up, too. Yeah. Seven day free trial. And then you got to come out of that pocket, man. If you want to make some moves, you got to spend some money a little yeah. bit. You know, so uh, and the and for the round up is that no, if you if a person just bought a house a year and a half ago, what does that mean? No, they have no equity. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking to myself, why would a person want to sell their home in this nice neighborhood that they just bought? You know, and I looked them up. I saw that they had the mortgage on it. And I was like, man, let me help these people. They need help in some way. It's not they're not trying to make money. They need help. So um, that was my first thought. You know, Money. we got to figure out what, yeah, we got to figure out yeah. what the solution is. So, yeah. uh, I contacted them, um, and, and that was after studying, you know, negotiating your, your negotiator, ninja negotiating, and along with some other masters, I put together yeah. my own uh, yeah. assessment. Yeah. And, um, Good. yeah, I went and talked to a man and spent some time over there. Uh, he, you know, he had a baby, uh, he had one on the way. Um, some job situations. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. So he's feeling the pressure, you know, uh, but feeling the pressure. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But, but people um don't want to admit that they're in tough times, you know, it's their pride or whatever it may be. Um, I wouldn't want to, you know, some guy comes to my house. I'm not going to say, Hey man, I don't have the money to pay my mortgage. The, yeah. the most beautiful part is though, there was, there was no arrears, Chris. Wow. Yeah, there was no arrears. Now, yeah. now, now he did have equity because the uh, the property value went up. So the cost of the deal was fifteen thousand, but I I'm, I didn't pay any of that. What you mean? I didn't. <laughs> I I didn't pay any of that. Um, I I knew that I could I could do this by a double closing, uh, to have my end buyer 
prepared, you know, to I could double close it. I could uh, sandwich lease it. Uh, you know, there's there's a number of different ways that you don't have to spend any money. So I knew that if I got this house under contract and he agreed to close by at least uh, listening to you and then Chris Monroe, uh, I was like, man, at least give myself 30 or 45 days out. Uh, that'll give me time. I've got it under contract to find my end buyer. So that's exactly what I did. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly what I did. So once I got it under contract, I uh, found found somebody that wanted to lease option that had a, a chunky down payment. Uh, Twenty thousand dollars. So everything over the fifteen thousand in the closing costs all went in my pocket and I own a house, an investment property. So, you know, nothing down, nothing down, no credit check, no bank. And the people that I lease optioned it to as well, their first thing was, well, we we can't get a house in my name, but we can do it in my boyfriend's name because he has better credit. And then I said, oh, hold on. I said, we don't do credit checks, so you don't have to worry about that. And I said, matter of fact, we'll get you put in our credit repair program for our road, to, uh, a road to home ownership. And you'll be buying your house and your credit will be getting fixed through our professional company that is mammoth credit repair that uh it'll fix your credit from if you have bad credit it'll help remove bad marks or if you have no credit it's an accelerated program to build your credit faster so now you own a home now if you want to go out and buy a car on credit uh you know nice reliable car you can do that because we've helped you so we talked about your seller was in distress. I want to make sure I connect the dots with my viewers. Oh, yeah. Seller, yeah, stress, he wasn't in behind though, right? But now we're talking about your yeah. buyer. I want to know yes. sorry, people, yeah. a lot of times I hear them say, well, Chris, I don't know I'm going to find a buyer. Tell them about the ease or tell them, oh. well, I, don't want, I don't want to say it from my point of view. Tell me, tell them about um, the attitude and the spirit oh, oh, that oh. your buyer had towards you. Yeah, hold on, my my girl's calling us by the internet. Hello? Okay. On my phone? All right. Okay. All right. Round All up right. just All joining right. us with All Gene right. Boykin. He just closed <laughs> the first subject to deal in Sioux City, Iowa. Hey, I'm go ahead, Gene. I'm gonna log in my phone, uh Chris. I'm gonna okay, log I'm gonna in mute my you phone. Here. I'm gonna mute you right here. Go ahead. Round up if you're just joining us. We're with Gene. I don't know what's up with this internet, but we're gonna do our best. We had a question here too. Val Demetra. I love that name. Val Val Demetra. I'm imagining your, your childhood growing up. California. What happens if the seller dies into the deal? What happens then? Well, hopefully you won't have any issues, but if they die, your power of attorney becomes void. Matter of fact, the house I live in now that the people died. But I mean, Gene, I'll see you as soon as uh I'll see you pop up here. You know what? I might have to kick you off for it to work. Is it saying you're on both the devices? I'll kick you out here. Like, uh, oh. He's going to try to log in with his phone, y'all. <sighs> Round up. And tonight we're gonna try to sing happy birthday if you don't mind singing happy birthday for little baby P as we uh bring in his first birthday is today. Now to meet you, hopefully if anything happens, you won't have to go back and deal with the bank. I mean, but you keep making the payments. I mean, I haven't had to use the power of attorney on my subject twos. Only time I have to use them is if I have to cash a check or something. I wouldn't worry about it. Round up. I have to answer my members' questions first. Marlon, we're doing your trustee stuff. We'll get you straight on that, my brother. Hey, Cheryl, thank you guys so much for uh, supporting my channel. Thank you so much, Gene, too. Yep. Crazy knowledge. That's right. Oh, You're a crazy man. Yeah. All right. I'm going to kick you out here. Hey. Gene, you got me. Yeah, that's clean. It's clean. It's clean. Go ahead, and I'm gonna kick you out of the other one. Yeah. Oh, you already kicked yourself out. Yeah, you can kick yourself out. Yeah, I closed. I just closed my laptop, man. I'll there be you go. good now, huh? Yeah, it looks clean to me. 
Oh, man. Roundup, is it cleaner here? Let me know. Yeah, I can see it's cleaner on my end. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're good to go, man. I got to uh, get something to put behind this phone. I'll be right back, Gene. Get your thing, get your thing oh. set up. Let me check on this birthday cake. Y'all, if you oh, don't okay, mind, yeah, yeah, it's I your got son's a birthday cake. One second. We definitely going to sing happy birthday. All right, so. Hey, babe. Babe. I'm going to send you an email. Can y'all hear me? Okay, we're back. Oh man, I had to get on my phone. So, um, listen, this is it's million dollar knowledge, um, uh, but there's an artistry to it as well. So, anybody that needs help with this, mom, that's in the Sioux City area or even over the internet, uh, shoot me an email. I've got um, your subject to paperwork. Um, you know, you got your purchase agreement. Um, you got your lease options. Uh, you've got your trust paperwork as well. Make your birthday you, you, You've got to You've got to have your. Uh, you've got to have your properties in a trust. Um, so there's there's ways to do these things, and um, I I can help you with those things as well. Um, and this is all just informational purposes only. I'm not an accountant or a lawyer, um, or anything like that. I'm a consultant. Cool, cool. All right. So we're talking about the spirit of your buyer. The spirit of your buyer. Yeah, um, you How know, I went. And, they oh, marry you. man, you know, it's yeah, it's about helping them, man. You're you're solving a it's a solution to their problem. Um, so you don't. I I knew not to go in there like the rest of the everybody else with you know my my notepad and oh this is gonna cost this much. I got to repair this much. This is worth this much. Oh man, forget about all that for a minute. You know, talk to people. You got to care about people, man. It's all right to care about people. And their well-being, you know, it's okay to care. Yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with that, you know. And when if you can live your life, um, like that, things will be okay for you. Even if you hit bumps in the road, you know, if you're living your life like that, and you know that th things will just turn out okay. I mean, so many things have just dropped in front of me that had to be there right at that moment, and they 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 just materialized because of. Um, the way I live my life and the way that I am by people, man, you know, good, good. so, uh, so the so, buyer, I'm saying, so yeah, your buyer, yeah, was buyer, it hard to find them? Were they ready? Or was it, was it, cause people think that I'm not gonna be to find a buyer. You, you, oh no, buyers are everywhere. Buyers are everywhere, man. You can find buyers everywhere. Don't you guys know that 75% of the public is, uh, of the population, I'm sorry, has challenged credit and then get this, Chris. Now I do my research on everything and then and then i do some more research so the fha cut back cut back how many loans they're, they're buying on the secondary market right so we're doing subject to on houses when you get a mortgage the bank that originated that mortgage they turn around and they sell your mortgage to s some other lending company and then they sell it again so the fha they're not buying they cut down how many mortgages they're buying on the secondary market by um i don't know like six to ten percent but that accounted for 50% of the mortgages on the secondary market that are bought. So, yeah, the government. yeah so what that means is uh, banks, I was just talking to a bank manager uh, a week and a half ago. They stopped taking FHA mortgages uh, March 1st. And then I'm hearing rumors all around town that banks are not taking F, doing FHA mortgages. So it's only conventional mortgages. And most people aren't going to qualify for a conventional. So that just opens up your market of buyers. Tenfold. Well, yeah, they got to slow this thing down. I mean, it's just going bananas everywhere. So yeah, the government yeah. always they get their hands in it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But um, yeah, where'd your buyer come from, Gene? Tell me about your buyer. What what is, what is their story? Oh man, uh, my buyer. They actually moved up here from uh, uh from Atlanta. Okay, recently yeah, or they've so, been here? No, they've been here for a few years because there's a lot of like meat packing plants here in Sioux City. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of meat packing plants. Um, so they came up here to work, you know, and, uh, um, housing, um, you know, when you come up here, if you don't know, uh, the, the geographic area, you could just end up anywhere, you know, and usually it's going to be the lowest, uh, lowest part. So yeah, man, they work hard, uh, saved up money. And, uh, but again, uh, they don't have the greatest credit. Um, I guess when it comes to the qualifications of, you know, banks and stuff like that, but to me, um, now I'm the bank now. So that we have different qualifications here at, at the bank of Dean Boykin. <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, we got, we, yeah, yeah, we've got different qualifications, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah, we got different qualifications. Be the bank. Be the, Be bank, the bank, man. Be the bank because you can. Your life will change. Yeah. 
It will. Your life will my change life. if you decide, if you become the bank. Yep. Yeah. Look it at will you. Change. Your life changing right in front of your face. Man, but th- this is my, yeah, my life changes every day though, man. Cause <laughs> I try I, I try to get better, you know, every day, man, even if it's just a little bit. So by you know, by doing that, I, I found this. It went hard and uh man, now we're here. I'm hoping that you know, there's a couple of realtors watching tonight that I uh, have met with, and uh I'm hoping that I can help change their lives. You know, we can work together. And because we you can work with the realtor too now, but now now we're getting a little deep. Now I don't want to get too deep, but you can work with the realtor too um doing these doing this creative financing. It's creative owner financing. Well, the problem is the realtor, from my experience, most of their brains are warped kind of beyond where I can bring them back, you know. And I'm yeah. and I'm saying that lovingly, but uh absolutely. I, yeah, so it's it's kind of like they've been down this tunnel so long, and then when you come along, it's like because I've spoken at the local realtors and they just they think I'm a nutcase, you know. So yeah, uh, you got to kind of get the right ones. That's all. Absolutely, I got one that uh, um just started being a realtor. That when I met with her, that's Boom. what I that's what I said. I was like, you know what? That's, that's right. That you just started. It. Yeah, I said you just started. So I said you are not locked in to this trap, this trap that they wow. trap. Wow. Thank you, Lord. So I can help you, and you know what? You can help me. And 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 this is what I told her today too. I said, you know what? We can make a lot of money. I said, but more importantly, we can help a lot of people. We yeah. really can. So helping people, the for you. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So you got a, your seller distressed, uh, ready to go. Where did he go? Did he move out of town? Or what happened to your seller? Oh, he was well, there. Woo! Now listen, now it's, there's there's an artistry to this. You're not just gonna come in there and hey, I can take over your mortgage because he wasn't behind or anything. And get this, his his monthly mortgage payment was only eight hundred and ten dollars a month. And he he the my house is in God's country, so I, I'm I'm making I'm clearing two forty a month. So your your payments eight forty, your your payments eight forty, and you're renting eight ten. You're renting it for a thousand fifty. That's sweet, man. That's yeah, two forty. But we don't rent, Chris. We don't rent. We don't. We're not landlords. We don't fix leaky toilets and faucets. We lease option to buy. So people gotcha. take care of their own maintenance and stuff like that. I learned that from you, obviously. But uh, yeah. so so, uh, God, where was I with the seller? Um, well, you said he was. We don't. Where is he going? Where is he ending up? Oh, okay, so now, now this was the thing. See, at first he, he needed somewhere uh, somewhere else to go. You know, and he didn't want to sell his house. So I presented him with two options. I, I, that's a, you got, you got to present two options. You can't just try to corner a person in. That's the artistry aspect of it, too. Um, so I presented him with the, uh, with the subject, too. And Chris, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I came in cheap, man, probably way under, um, just because I was trying to make some money. And then he countered me and I went up because I knew that I could do it. So that's how I ended up with the 15,000. I came in at 5,000 on the subject, too, which was ridiculously low. But, I offered him another option of a, a lease option where he would become a real estate investor. He would lease option his house to me, and then I will assign that lease mm-hmm. to someone else. So in that lease option uh, agreement, it says in there that he knows that I will not be the tenant and I will be lease optioning. So I, I offered him that and a caveat to the lease option because it was a little bit less money for him. It was $3,500 that I offered him. And then he was going to get nine, 10 a month. So he'd clear a hundred bucks a month uh, and, and get his mortgage and principal and stuff paid down. Um, and he'd still own the house. Anyway, uh, as a caveat to that, I would have to find him um, somewhere else to live. Mm. And right. So I was over there for a couple of hours at this point, And he says to me, well, you could come with 15,000. I don't need anywhere else to live. I'll I'm find good. it. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Good. I said, well, you know what? I said, ding, uh, ding, ding, I, ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Now we have some direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to authorize this with my committee first. There you right. go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I've got to authorize with the committee. Uh, I said, but I tell you what, I'm going to make an executive decision and um, I'll give you 12000 right? And uh, But I'll give you until, uh, I don't remember what date I said for him to accept the deal. So you got some time to think, man, and I'll send you the agreements if you want to look them over. You know, they're not that long. They're not they're not this thick like you're signing your life away like you do with a mortgage. You know, none of that, man. We don't do It's not necessary. It really is. Wow. Yeah, it's not necessary. man. so we don't do that. Um, But I offered him the twelve thousand and I came home and um, 
you know, I was talking to my significant other and I was like, man, you know, I could do that 15,000. That's sort of the same thing I told you. Like, man, I was just being cheap. I said, I think I messed up because I had a little fear and I know better than to be fearful because a uh, fear is a made up thing. And you can choose to have faith and know that things are going to come out good, or you can choose to have fear and know that things are going to come out bad. They're both made up, but which one are you going to choose? I chose wrong at that moment, right? But I realized that. I was like, you know, no, I'm not letting this happen. So I called him back. I think it was like the next day. <laughs> well, I didn't even wait for him to think about the deal or anything. I called him back the next day. I said, you know what? I talked. Matter of fact, no, I went up to, I went in and talked to my business partner. I'm sorry. It was a Sunday and I didn't want to call him, but I texted him and they said, I'm going to, I'm going to call you tomorrow with some news. So I called him on that Monday and said, Hey, I talked to, I talked to my main finance guy and uh, we'll do the 15,000. But you got until, uh, geez, I forget the date to agree on the deal. Uh, Whatever. But yeah. So uh, you got till then to agree on the deal. And um, yeah, man, the, the history from there, he, he took 15 grand and uh, ran with it. And we paid closing so costs. You. Okay. You paid the closing costs on both sides. Yeah. So in his mind, he basically went from getting nothing to getting something. I mean, you know, I'm trying to boil it down to the simplistic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, he got $15,000 cash, you know, and he yeah, didn't he have to, he, no realtor fees. He didn't have to bring any money to the table. That, that's why he had it on Zillow um, as for sale by owner. I uh, see. Because he couldn't afford the realtor fees of 6% and the closing costs. And I had put a form together for him of what it would actually cost him. Cost to, to sell. That. Yes, and uh, you know you got uh, you got to throw in capital gains tax too now, Chris. Oh, because he just that. bought it. Uh, yeah, yeah, he hasn't owned it for the five years. You know, and, uh, proven that he lived there for at least two and three years. Two years, you know, yeah. you know all the you know mumbo jumbo. So, um, you know, I threw the cost of sell in there, and that was just mine. I had heard you know people say this cost of sell sheet, and I'm I put mine together. Uh, so he had that. And then I gave him uh, the subject to uh, um, she boiled down, you know, how much he would make, you know, some nice mm -hmm. graphs on there and stuff. Lease option, Sweet. visual. Sweet. Yeah, visual, visual, man. So, yeah, yeah. That's good. So he's negotiating. What the visual does, from my experience, is to let them negotiate with the paper instead of negotiate with you on your words. Right. Yeah. That's why I tell him, you know, you know, if you if you don't want to authorize the paperwork today, uh, we, you know, just keep it. And you've got to such a date. Give me a call. We'll get it. Take away. Yeah, man. man you got you to hit him with all the dairy. You to hit him with every daggone. It, what? Man, what? Hold on. If you're gonna do something, aren't you supposed to do it right? You right, dude. You know. I mean. Oh, well, usually I, I hear people say, "Well, I did this, but I left that out. I did this. I, I didn't want to say. You know, you just kind of just put the full cord. Wow. Take away. To, yeah. yeah. It's a lot. You did it it's yeah, heavy. You did it's it. heavy. <laughs> All I right. told, huh? I was just gonna say I told him what you what one of your quotes, man. It's it's simple, but it's not easy. Yeah, yeah, simple, not easy. Look, we have forty five minutes. I gotta get to some Q and A. Cheryl, thank you so much for your love offering. Thank you. This is so cool. Procnef, we got some uh, members in the building. Uh, Gene, can you do some questions? You got time? Man, I let Chris for you. I got all the time in the world, man. I'm honored, brother. I'm honored. Uh, Let me that's take my honor. Listen, uh, Park Neff, what is a good way to find sellers, in your opinion? You go, and then I'll go. Um, it, you know, there's public information, man. Uh, look in the newspapers. Have to public uh, publish legal the legal section. So you want to look for all your pre foreclosures because they file a case number, right? So it's got to be in the legal section. Uh, you look for your pre foreclosures. I look for uh, uh um divorces. Pre foreclosures, foreclosures that are getting ready to even go to the uh, sheriff's auction. We can help those people as well. Uh, yep. So yeah, your newspaper will be your best way to start, man. Newspaper. Yeah. Um, yep. So uh, is your newspaper on the internet too? Yeah, yeah, it's on the internet. You yeah. can pull it there too. So both yeah. of them, y'all. Sam, thank hey, you so much for your love. That's my, okay, Sam. Is that your people? Right. Yeah, man. I, I went and talked to a couple dudes, man, because I need some help. I can't do this by myself. So, we're, we're, Sam, I see, I see you with it, man. Let's do it. My mentor said, Chris, let me tell you something. It's very serious, Chris. This is a team sport. This Absolutely. is a team sport. So if you yes. think you're going to get out here and do this all by yourself, don't get into business. No. It's it, very it, serious it. to me, man. You know, it, uh, this is a people business, y'all. So just keep that yeah. in mind. It is. Uh, how did you? Done real quickly. Done. He's one of our members. I got to respect that, honor that. Thank you for being our members. Done quickly. Uh, Gene, one more time, how you found this uh, one? <clears throat> 
oh, I found this one on Zillow. I found this one on Zillow, and it was Fizbo. Uh, for sale. Yep, for sale by owner. Fizbo. Yeah. Uh, list scrubber. I don't know if you have that. T Smith wants to know what's a good do not call list scrubber. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I've never even heard of that. Renell, are there any subject two deals happening during COVID? Yeah, Gene just closed it. Renell. Yeah, subject two deals everywhere. During the Armageddon. thing. You just Gene just made a point something about FHA. See what FHA does is they liquidate all these lenders. They buy all this stuff up, but when they pull back, yeah, I promise you, dude, that's when stuff slows down. Uh, this is yeah, yeah. It's all informational uh, purposes only. But banks are tightening their credit belt because they're offering these low refinances right now. So that means to me anyway that they're hedging their bets. They've got people that have mortgages, so we're going to refinance you and we're going to start your mortgage over for another thirty years because you pay and you have good credit. So this to me means they're not going to be extending credit to people uh, much longer. Uh, so, what you mean? You, you talking about they want to keep them in debt for longer? Yes. Yeah. They want to keep these people. They uh, refinance. You already have a mortgage. So you're refinancing it and you're starting your mortgage over 30 years. So they're offering these super low rates to refinance right now. To me, it just with all the other circumstances and all the other data, they're offering these low rates because they're going to start tightening their credit belts and they're not going to be giving I new see. mortgages. You see what I'm I saying? See. Yeah. I see. I see. See, people, you know, it's a book called Life in There, y'all. The guys talk about when you get approved for a mortgage, is it, when you see that word approved, just wipe that out and put enslaved. Thank you, man. <laughs> hey, people put on Facebook they bought a house, and I, I, I congratulate them, but I'm like, no, 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 call me, call me. I will help you. We've all been there, man. So, well, you know, yeah, we no, all, I got, I got all been there. Nikki, from New Jersey, hey, if you obtain the house pre-foreclosure from a family member, do you need to pay them? Or can't we sell sell for back taxes that will be paid out of pocket? Gene, what do you think about that? Oh, let me see if you the house pre foreclosure from a family member. You, there's gotta there's gotta be some sort of consideration. However, you can do a deed transfer with through a family member very easily. You know, you can do a quick case by deed, but there's you gonna can. be a lien. Yeah, yeah, there's gonna be a lien. Uh, there, you can do a family transfer too, though. Uh, uh inter family transfer. I, know I think she's talking can. about when she says when she says pay them, you know, generally we give the seller some money. I think she might be saying like, yeah, you got to give them something. hundred bucks. Yeah, give them some something. Sort of I, I always give them something, dude. Yeah. Just give them something. You, there's got to be consideration for that contract. BL just closed one last week. Congratulations, BL. Man. Congratulations, bro. Give it up. Give it up. That's or what's up, this, BL. Good for you. Good, good, yeah, good. Yeah. Keep close. Close some more. Uh, adventurers. De la Biblia. What did you what do you do with people's debt if they didn't pay their mortgage for a year? Go ahead, Jim. There man, there's about 20 different things you can do. Now the normal person would think that you have to pay all of that back. You can actually negotiate that with the bank. So you don't have to pay all of that back at one time, right? You've got to get some things signed from the seller and you negotiate with the bank. You can get those back payments either put on to make your loan longer or what I've learned from the great Lou Brown, my God, mm -hmm. what a God said. Uh, you can actually, um, you have your mortgage payment, say is $800. You owe that back pay for a year. You can split that up for, say, you'll pay them 200 extra bucks a month and get that put onto your regular mortgage payment and pay that back pay just like that. Yeah, you do have to, they do have to agree to that. And there is a process well, to do that. But yeah, there's a process. That's, yeah, there's a process. You got to have yeah. the, uh, yeah, you got to have the cooperation of the seller. But still, you you still have to ask. If you do yeah. get nothing, if you don't ask, sure don't. Adventures, that's a good question. Tyke notes. Hey, finally purchased subject two. Congratulations, thank you. Round up. If you need the stuff that uh, Gene's talking about, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't think Gene is a madman, and you yeah. don't think he's talking <laughs> <laughs> talking crazy like me, the docs and the stuffs in the video description, a lot with yeah. a lot with with along with some other links, financing links, uh, website links. So all that. go get this stuff. Yes, good for yeah. you guys. Hey, email me too. I got a subject to docu document packet that'll blow your Gene, mind. There you go. Yep. Dean got it too. St. Louis in the building. What up? Gene. They can't do that. Gene, we can't walk you through the whole process. You have to rewind the video for that one. Yeah, man. Yep. I oh yeah, yeah. You gotta walk. Yeah, Three that's months. yeah, that'll be. Watch them, watch them a few hmm. times. That's what I did. Now, Des Moines, uh, Jamon, Des Moines, Iowa. Are there a couple of markets I'm marketing? Oh, okay. 
Is that close to you, Jing? Yeah, yeah. Des Moines is the capital. It's about three, three and a half hours away. Iowa City's about five. I'm gotcha. actually trying to trying to do some virtual deals uh, um, in Des Moines. Cheryl wants to know: Can she use subject to in Baltimore? In Big B more, you better believe it. You can do it everywhere. I'm sure they got tons of them going on in Baltimore. A lot, a lot. There, I mean, they're everywhere. If you know how to find them, you've got to you've got to think outside of the box and be creative and innovative. Um, and, and then also, you got to research and come the people before you, Chris, uh, you know, Lou Brown. Uh, yeah, Ron Legrand. Yeah. Uh, find people you demand. Let's see here. Oh, lease option. So you sold that one on a lease option, uh, Gene? Yeah, I sold it on a lease option. Yeah. Um, yeah, lease options. That's all. That's all I really want to do is a lease option. So why didn't you want to do the warm and fuzzy? Go paint it and make sure it's all pretty and may, and have do a regular rental if you don't mind me asking. Why? I mean, yeah. There's why would I do that? I, that means I'm gonna have to gamble that, that my contractor is gonna you know do these things and and figure that out. I'm gonna have to do it myself. But when you lease option or, or you sell it on contract, it's that person's home, so they're gonna up they're gonna upgrade it. But as part of our road to home ownership, we'll actually take off some of that down payment if you do some work to the house. Because you don't you don't have a big down payment, you do some work to the house. So you there's many things that you can offer when you're the bank. But I would never, uh, yeah, we don't do um, rehabs. We just don't do rehabs. Did you do any work to this house, Gene? Nah, I didn't lift a finger. You know I what's weird, Gene? I have to I have to twist my client's arms to stop doing repairs. There, you don't have to do. Stop. I talked to a person today. I talked to a person today and I, I told him I potentially have a house available. This was a buyer. I potentially have a house available. Oh, it's new. It's got new this, new this, upgraded this. And she says, this is what she said to me. She And they have $20,000 down, supposedly. And I've verified that. But trust, but verify. Uh, she says, well, we thought we would have to get into a house and have to do some repairs. You know, it would be livable, but we'd have to fix it up because our credit. The buyer, credit the buyer like that. thought that? that that's what a buyer said to me today. Just today, Shoot, so so, man. yeah. Don't do. You don't have to do repairs, guys. Now this is your house, so if you have somebody in there that uh, um, they're not doing repairs, this is your home. Uh, so if it's going to affect it, go ahead and fix it. You know, give it. Yeah. Oh yeah, mate. Yeah. So you're Absolutely. saying that to say that the mindset of the buyer is already in the boat of to fix things repair. up. Yeah, repairs. It's their house, you know, so they can make it how you make it how you want it. It's your house. You know, I love we it. just yeah, we have the deed. And I just want I gotta give a nugget to the people. Okay. Go man. Follow follow me on this, guys. Now you get a house on subject two, right? Uh and you lease option that out, just like on this. I'm clearing 240 a month, right? If I put mm -hmm. that 240 a month towards the principal, I will have that house paid off in seven to nine years. Okay. Seven to nine years, man. We want to retire by then. So that 240 spread that I was making, that is gonna turn into about 850. At the, all I got to pay is the taxes and insurance. I get that whole eight fifty a month in my pocket, passive income. I don't have to do anything but make sure it hit my account. That's it. So are you saying you're not going to take any money from this deal? You're going to let it all go to principal? Well, I, I could. I mean, it's just an option, you know. But That's this, an option. I got right. you. Yeah, we've I got options, man. We want to retire with passive income, make our money, making money for us. That's right. That's, man, that's the are, dream. You talking, dog. Somebody said you're Verizon in Sioux City if your internet doesn't work. Oh, if you don't have Verizon in Sioux City, you're in, you're, your internet won't work. Yeah, you must have yeah, something yeah. about where you at. Nah, you know, we got Verizon. We just, uh, you know, we in Iowa. We in the cornfields, man. <laughs> SMB, it, you, I'm from the cornfields, so uh, come get some of this information. I got you. Rich. Chris, do you still do the two after Ron LeGrand said not to? Yes, I do. I don't know if he said don't do it. He just said they're going to come there. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, one day, if too many of us start to do it, they might. But I don't, just like wholesaling. I just, I'm just like, seeing like yeah. everybody's trying to crack down on wholesaling. But but Ron LeGrand just does, he does the same thing, but he uses a wrap. It's, it's the, the same, same thing. <laughs> he uses a wrap mortgage. It's the same thing, guys, but they just same have thing. Course. Same thing. Yeah. Uh, Rich wants to know: Are you still are you doing right by the seller by wholesaling a sub two to a buyer that to, that says they can't finance, they can't get financing? I'll let you are take you, that, Gene. 
Are you doing right by the seller by wholesaling a sub two deal to a buyer that tells you they can't finance a candy bar? Hey, man, listen, it's up to you if you want to sell to that person now. You didn't wholesale they, it, though. You didn't wholesale no, it. I didn't, I didn't wholesale mine, no, but he just, just yeah. uh, you know, uh, uh, hypothetically. GP. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you if you want to if you want to wholesale it to that person, you have to kind of um you can choose who you you know want to yeah, sell. That is to. true. That's true. That is yeah, very true. Who are you gonna wholesale to it you, to? Man. Right, right. You might have to step it on, oh, man. If you, I don't know if I want to do that. You want to wholesale it because you've already built the relationship with the seller. Right. Yeah, I would never do that. I almost you want to step in. On, but yeah. You want to step back in on that. You don't want to. I've had, that happened to me too. It's because the seller is going to be calling you and it's nasty. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I would never. The seller. Oh, he means the 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 seller who still holds the mortgage. Yeah. I, I would never let anything happen to a, a person's um, mortgage. That's yeah, just not, make it. No, we take care of people. Yeah. Make we take care payment. of people. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Michelle, how do I get the sample contracts? Gene has them. If I got them, it's in the video description. Either one. Yeah. I got them. I got some coaching too. Just, uh, you know, you got my email in there. Email me. Yep, I put it in there. He's right on Facebook. This guy's a yeah. go-getter. Go Jeff, can you subject to for personal property? Gene? Now, it, what do you mean? A house? If he means a well, house. Your, your, your own occupant, owner-occupant. Yeah, owner-occupied, absolutely. I mean, I think we're going to uh, uh, sub to ours, but we're not going to sub to it. We're going to lease option it. We own it. It's, if you have the mortgage, if he means that the mortgage is under your name, then we're going to lease option our house. I will. We move. Yeah, we're going to lease option it. It's an investment. I tell my friends, I tell my friends, do not sell your home because most of them have decent homes. Like they came from nothing and they worked hard and they made good decisions and a lot of sacrifices to get middle class homes. I said, listen, gentlemen, do not sell your homes. Don't sell them. Call me and uh, we'll lease option them to people that are an investment, man. So, you know, yep. move on and make some money. Hopefully they will listen and you don't have to twist their arm like I do. Yeah, I ain't twist no arms, man. If you don't want to do it, hey, you can't bring it. You're right. I'm with stuck. You. I need to stop. Yeah, because my Chris. clients call me. They're like, Chris, I, I just, I want to paint it, and I know I do new carpet. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. You can only, I mean, you only say things over and over so many times now, man, and it it, it yeah. takes energy out of you to keep like, well, I just said that eight times not to do that. I I, I don't do it anymore. <laughs> I don't do it. I'm like, oh, you want to do that? Okay, cool. Call me Good with that you. lump on your head. I got some ice for you. I got and the they ice. do. They do. Yeah, I'll, they I'm do. gonna sub two that house for you. I'll take it over. Yasha, what kind of title search do you do for subject two, Gene? Uh, and same same type of title search, right? Uh, uh, um, you, you do a full one. Yeah, you do. You're gonna have to uh, through the title company. But honestly, um, to me, in my opinion, uh, lean doesn't matter. If you leans don't matter in this situation, or uh, if you plan on keeping the house, lean doesn't matter, don't matter because you. Yeah, you can just, you know, rent it out, lease it out. Yeah. You just can't sell it with a clean title with that, with another lien on there. You don't so, want to, you want to take it to the grave and actually you want to pass it on to your heirs. Kids. I mean, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, even... yeah, you can pass on your heirs with a lien on it, man. So Joseph, hey, what's going? Sounds good. Procnef wants to weigh your oh we did we did we go over the sellers already? Good way to find sellers. Well, I just told him like the newspaper and stuff, but um also, man, I, I recommend spending some money on a, on a uh, uh, software program. You got to have know. it nowadays. Yeah, you got to. Those days yeah. are gone. Without Back in the day, we didn't need it, but now, and we're spending money. Um, matter of fact, I've got a guy I'm going to bring on. We're paying pay-per-click. That joint is like butter. You're talking about you pay your really? money and you get your leads. Yeah. What? What's it called? Pay-per-click? No, I mean, just pay-per-click on Google. That's oh, all. I mean, oh, okay. Hey, yeah. I'm on it. I'd write it down. Here I come. Uh, I can send a link. It's a company that I use, man. They uh they got a whole system set up for you where they set oh, it all up. It, it ain't cheap. Dude, man, I'm like, putting it out there. It's not right. cheap. I'm pending two hundred dollars a lead, but uh, I show up at the house. Uh -huh. Give me the house. You know, we got one in the. We don't. We haven't signed the contract yet, but um, it's, it's just a viable it's, it's lead a, though. Like it's a it's a prospect that's already uh been vetted and meets your criteria. Yeah, they're done. They're done. We already. I mean, we've already agreed on price. All we have to do is get inside to do our inspection with the tenant. So we can't get the tenant on the phone. I'm uh, saying that to say pay per click. In my opinion, in my, my, the last four houses we bought have been from internet leads. Oh yeah, I'm uh, so I'm that. just pushing that yep. now. So Absolutely. I can give it the thing. So Atlanta, yes, what up, Michelle? Had you found that property? Uh, we went over that one done already. Subject to yeah. Baltimore, yes, we did that. Uh -huh. Somebody says intoxicated. This is amazing information. Jeans putting out. He <laughs> is. I, he I is. got. I got it. I got the seed from Chris, and you know we got to give. 
You know, I just yeah. real quick, when I first got this information, I thought to myself, man, I better hoard this information. I don't want competition. But man, there's enough out here for everybody. And only 10% of the people that get this stuff are actually going to take action. So, man, just give, man. It's all right. It's all right, man. Man, you could tell a thousand people how to do this, man. You probably got. And, you know, I know some veterans been in. I'm like, you've been in a game for a long time. They'd be like, subject, what? Right. Yeah. Let them do it. Right, right. Let them do it. You know, yeah. And always put your put your uh, properties in a trust, right? Because I've looked up um, companies around here because it's public record. Like one company owns 83 properties. Um, and they Is it LLC? Not, yeah, it's an LLC. It's a property company, LLC. Uh, okay. Yeah. And the other, the other, you know, there's a we buy houses. It's an LLC, you know, but you can see all their transactions, public record. You know, I mine are in trust. Mine are in trust. So if you search my name, I don't own a thing. You know, I don't own nothing, right? But 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 my paperwork in, in that trust that's somewhere, you know, in my possession because you don't have to record it at the county office. That nope. tells everything. That has everything. That's the ownership right there. And it's it's for anonymity, and it gives you layers of uh, you know, just layers of protection because people like to sue if they know you have money. They do if they think you got money, right? Gene, do you think that people are going to try to hold onto their houses a little longer because flow closures have been put on the back burner? Do we negotiate better just to hold out? Well, this is the thing. Now, those foreclosures that are on the back burner, those are FHA foreclosures. Those are the ones that are protected. Conventional um, loans, conventional mortgages can still be foreclosed on. So people are going to hold out on their houses uh, as, as long as possible anyway, man, you know, regardless. Um, Either way. It, yeah, Either because way. Yeah, if you can't pay your mortgage, how the heck are you going to pay to go somewhere else and, you know, up and leave until the sheriff comes and makes you? You know, mm -hmm. so it's all about how you interact with the with the uh, seller. Sure. One of our members. What about clients I've gotten approved for FHA? Uh, I just gave my landlord a 30 day notice. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's a question. Sure. Yeah. I don't know that one. Gene, Gene, Gene. I got to skip around here. Oh, uh, Gene, Tyrese. Yeah. Wants to know how long did the process take from beginning to end for your subject? Uh, to hey, deal? there you go. Uh, the the process from beginning to end for the subject to deal it was only uh, let me see because I mean you got to negotiate and I gave them time a couple of days because they got to kind of think about it. But for the closing and all that stuff, uh, it's gonna take. It took about two weeks. I mean, if you take when the deal got signed, it's gonna take two weeks because of COVID uh, protocols and stuff. So yeah, about two weeks to close on it. Yeah. Uh, Tyrese wants to know, do you have a process to help buyers obtain down payment funds, Gene? Now, uh, we, we don't have a process for, to obtain down payment funds. However, in our, in our road to home ownership, you can do work and do repairs to a house and that'll be credited towards your down payment. And the bigger down payment that you have, uh, the lower your monthly payment will be, you know, and then that road to home ownership, you just pay a small monthly fee. And we put you in our credit repair program through a, through a beautiful company, Mammoth Credit Repair. I mean, they get the job done. Uh, and you, I, So it's a whole, I mean, we're going to take care of you all the way around. We're going to take care of you. So if you don't have that money for a down payment um, and we have a house available, again, if you do those, do those repairs, buy a couple of materials, we're going to credit you for that. We're going to credit you for that. And that That's goes towards sweet. your purchase price in the end when you exercise your option to buy. Sweet, sweet. Roundup, yeah. if you need this stuff, it's in the video description. Gene has them too. Either way, just go to the link or email Gene. It doesn't yeah. matter to me. Shoot me an email. John and, McClines. Uh, you, you, you spitting, man. You were really spitting, dude. Red Cross. Uh, Red Cross. Hit that. That's right. Hit the thumbs up. I forgot about that. Yeah, man. Y'all got to hit that like button, man. Who, who's spitting? Oh, I'm spitting? Yeah, yeah you spitting, dog. Man, I appreciate that. I got it from you, big homie. <laughs> you the man. You in the transaction engineer. Man, I got it. Yeah. Head. I gotta meet Eddie, man, because we gon' we gonna talk. <laughs> yeah, he's a monster. <laughs> I see that. I respect he's a monster. It. I respect round up, hit that subscribe button, join the membership if you want to get your questions answered yeah. first, yeah. please. Uh thank and thank you. It's an honor to work with Absolutely. you guys. Let's see. Yeah. And I just I want to say this too, real quick, guys. Go if ahead, you man. are if you are a good human being in your core, right? Like I talk about these lease options and you know, we're uh selling to our sellers. I'm the bank now, man, and I'm a good person, so um, if you don't exercise your option to buy in three years or five years, whatever we set the option for, 
you know, we're going to work it out, especially if you've been paying every month. It's all right that you haven't exercised that option. You know what? We're going to work something out. I'm not a faceless, heartless lender, big old bank that you got to call a hundred number and talk to seven different people that tell you seven different things. It's not That's that, right. guys. So let me allow me to help you. That's it. Just allow me to help you. If you can't sell your home for whatever reason, whatever the reason is, you can't sell your home, touch base with me. I got you. I got you. Good, good. Be loan sax. Oh man, look at that. Sax Realty. Great information. Good for constantly delivering out of the box investing tips. This dude is in Baltimore. He's a monster too. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to hit Sax yeah. up, man. I like the network. I'm, I'm gonna holler at you, Sax. I need to bring him on the channel. Michelle, hey, that join button's right there. Or if you, if you go to the video description, it's, it'll be right there. Just join the channel. It's um, just so we can get your questions answered first and support the channel. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'm man, I got to have you. I got to have you put my uh, real estate company, man, up as is 1E, 1E3T Holdings, LLC. Yeah, you got a uh, yeah, oh, real sorry. estate solutions. I got I got my logo and stuff, man. That's, uh, it's somewhere around here. Uh, Let me put it in the comments. Yeah, we get it on What there. is it again? It's it's one E three T. It's one and a capital E. The number one capital E, number three capital T. One E three T Holdings LLC. Real Estate Solutions. And uh, our 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 motto is in quotes: We go the extra mile. We go the extra mile. I'm honored to be here, man. Yeah, we got you. Good. At home. All right, I just, it's been an hour. I gotta go check on this baby, man. Yeah, man, we gonna sing happy birthday. We gotta sing happy birthday. Yeah, to the let me see. Again. All oh, right, see what's up, round man. up of y'all. Yeah, my wife. I got you. I wish my I wish my daughter was back, man. I see. I have her singing. She loves happy birthday. I got five birthdays in a week. Ooh. One second, man. My mother, my wife, the kids. Hey, good thing you built the pockets up. <laughs> yeah, Gene. Before yeah. I'm gonna go check on them. Go uh, ahead, do your thing. I'll holler at them. Yeah, uh, just tell them real quick. For new, I want you to tell some advice for new real estate investor, Gene. I'm gonna check on the cake. Okay, okay. Uh, new new real estate investors. Uh, my first piece of advice would be: do not drink the Kool Aid. Okay, don't drink the Kool Aid of the uh the conventional way of doing things because you it's it'll waste so much of your time you don't have to do that um think outside of the box be creative and you don't have to have a big old chunk of money uh to do this i'll tell you what you have to have you got to have a drive uh to get better ambition um and willingness to help people and a work ethic and and be seek knowledge man and you're gonna have to pay a little bit of money for some training um and some contracts and get that free knowledge that's out there and uh, there's no way you can you, you you can't win there's no way that you can't win so you know and it, anybody that's a new investor um because i've been i've been investing for i guess not that long it's been a year and a half but i was doing it the conventional way man and uh you know i started this and you know it's just making moves after moves now you know and um just a quick a quick story for the roundupers out here, man. I had uh, said when I when I want to get married, um, you know, when I do eventually get married in life, I said I want to have a destination wedding, and I want to uh, fly all of my all the guests, you know, of my 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 wife and uh, my guests. I want to fly them out and and pay for their accommodations too. And I was around some family members when I said that, and don't you know they laughed, right? And I told, I told, I told my girl then, my fiance, I told her, I said, remember this moment. I whispered in her ear. I said, you remember this moment, remember this moment right now. And, and now, but now here we are. So, so to all my homies, my friends, my family that's watching, y'all know who you are. I got you. <laughs> we, we, we going to do it big. So I, I, I gave that, that story right there to let y'all know, like, you got to believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself and you embrace obstacles and, and believe that there is no such thing as failure, right? If you make a mistake and something doesn't go the way that you had planned, it's okay because you learned a valuable lesson that that's not the way that works. So I have now got to try this a new way and do something different. But there is always, always a way to get to your goal. But you have to believe that and you have to know that. 
you know, and that's one that's one thing about me. I, I know it. Uh, you know, this time two years ago, uh, man, I was I was um, working at a landscaping company, but I always, you know, told people to do it. I was going to be doing the real estate investing, um, but I had to do what I had to do at the time, you know, to take care of my business, my responsibilities. Going. Man, so you know, you just gotta know in your heart, man. I'm just keeping it a hundred, man. I, I I'm, I'm authentic, man, and I appreciate being on the screen with another authentic person. And if there's a small percentage of authentic people listening, they gonna dig everything, man, that I just said and that you just said. They gonna dig. Man, you've been going. You were too much. <laughs> hey, man. I, you know, I, man. I, I'm happy to be on here, Chris. I tell you know all that stuff I just said for those people that are listening. I had sent Chris an email a while back and I said, man, I'm, I'm going to get in your inner circle, man. I said, but I'm going to, I'm going to do it by my actions. I'm not going to be emailing you and calling you. Hey man, we answer this question. Do this, do that. I'm going to do it by my actions. And I told him that. And that's what, that's what I mean by believe and know that, that you're going to do what you set out to do, what you said you was going to do, but you got to put yeah. in the work, man. I done put in some hours, but yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love oh, it. Like One second, Gene. Y'all, I gotta get yeah. the birthday cake ready. Give me a second. Hey, hey you gonna hear your boy sing happy birthday, man? Oh, Preston. Preston turns one year old, one year old today, man. Well, That's a blessing. That's a blessing. Y'all gotta get on here and comment for uh from Preston, man. Tell him happy birthday. All the round up family, man. Chris, Chris out here giving this knowledge away for free. He gave he gives this knowledge away for free. You know, a lot of people would a lot of people would hoard this knowledge and say, you know, I don't want to get this out. I gotta keep it all for myself. Give it away for free, man. Show some love. All right. Everybody say happy birthday. Oh my lord. Thank hey, y'all for oh. celebrating my little <laughs> look at the, look at the big fella. You ready, man? Birthday, I'm ready. I got like this number one. Is it on? Can you get it on me? Is it already late? Don't talk to me. All he wants is cake. Baby P's birthday. This is in the in the kitchen. Can you get it on? Yeah. This is a smash cake. He already smashed it up today. That's his. So we're going to put out a video tomorrow with him eating the cake. It's all over his face and all that stuff. Thank you so much. Jing, you there too? Yeah, absolutely. I'm here. Turn it a little bit. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Preston. Happy birthday to you. I'll put that song in it. <laughs> yeah. Blow out the candle. He like, give my cake. Yay. Yay. It's the prince's birthday. Right. Man, cake now. Okay, how do I get it off? <laughs> there is no end, but hey, thank hey, you, Gene. Yeah, it's all good. It was your uh, wife's birthday last week, too, wasn't it? I got five in a week. Oh, we hey, I'll tell you what, it's a good thing you live in that subject two house. So That's that uh, right. you can take care of them five birthdays in that week. That is yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. That's true. All right, round <laughs> up. Thank y'all for sharing this moment with my family man. and Gene. It's been an honor, dog. It's an honor. Man, man. it was it was my honor, man. I, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate everything you do, man. I really do. Yep. So round up. If you want to get my stuff, you can download the docs right in the video description, or Gene has them too. Email him. His email is right there in the comments. Uh, Gene, you already did your last word, so we'll, we'll be bringing you back on here on the next one. I can't wait to do another one. Oh, absolutely. Oh, they be, boy, you're going to have me on here, you know, quite a bit now. So, yeah, let's uh, do it. Up, yeah, all right, for sure, man. I appreciate it. I had a good time. Round up, subscribe, like the content if we helped you at all. Share with any other investor that, investors that think they need to go out and get a loan and suck up to the banks to buy a house. It ain't true. It, it ain't, ain't true, true at all. It ain't true. Gene, Become the bank. Become the Be bank. The bank.
Okay, Roundup, I'll see you next video. Peace.